Really? You getting good seats? You getting good seats? Yeah, I got you two good. I saw some standing room onlys, man. Come on, I'll have you later, man. Amobi Okoye of the Houston Texans on a different kind of journey. When I first got in the league, my rookie year, I would meet other Nigerian players or players of Nigerian descent. We would always talk about obviously going back. I thought to myself, how about I gather everybody together and we go as a unit. Three-time pro bowler Tommy Harris is from Texas, but wanted to join his friends in Nigeria. Moby's one of the guys that I mentor in this league. And he invited me to come out here to get a little culture because I am a black American, which they call us African Americans, but these guys are true African Americans. The difference between, you know, America, United States, and a lot of other countries is the middle class. That's the biggest thing with Nigeria, man. It's a big, big, big spread between the rich and the poor. If we can create some kind of middle class, we can go places. We've been out as a group to a number of villages in different places and just uh, to see what, what they have coming together and, and as a collective. The change and the impact we can have is, was much greater. After arriving in the capital city of Abuja, the players had one day to prepare for the first physical activity camp. Tomorrow we are having a physical activity camp for boys and girls between the ages of 8 and 15. We just want to encourage them and keep their minds busy because, you know, for these youth, academics is always the first thing in our culture and athletics is something else that can steer their mind away from all the negativity and militant stuff that's going on. What I'm trying to do really is just think about what I use to learn the game a whole lot better. I know playing flag football, punt pass and kick camps, stuff like that helps. Camp number one. We're gonna split them up to where the boys and the girls, the guys go with all the male athletes and then the girls go with Kashamoto, who's the female soccer athlete and she's gonna educate them more on soccer and we're gonna educate them more on American football. Send her back. You two, you two come back, you two come back, you two come back. Slow down, slow down, slow down. It's a learning process, learning process. Uh, uh, uh. Just think about one leg each, in, out, in, out. You can do it, you can do it. Our society is driven largely by the paternal side of things. Uh, women are respected, but it's just not the same equity, so it's tougher to break through in everything. Did you do it? You did it! Remember what I told, told you about having a voice? Being proud. Have a voice. Just her having that message is wonderful. A good lead hit him. Fakes the handoff. A coin back there, and there's a fumble on the play. He goes down. Finished up by Israel Adonaje. The knowledge of NFL football with, the, with those kids was zero. Absolutely zero. Okay, you can't throw it like that. You got to hold it. Since your hands are small, try to hold it like this. Use your instincts. Hit it. Nigerian kids are smart. <laughs> they retain a lot. Yeah, I had to switch my accent to the Nigerian accent so I because I, I felt like they weren't hearing me when I was speaking in an American accent. You take one step and see how far you can kick it. Your, how far you can kick it. When I had to ask the questions and you get the feedback, it's Come like, on, oh, they were they get me. They, they get what I was saying. They was they were really listening. Ready? Though the kids knew Go. little about run, the NFL, run, 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 the players run, managed run, to find run, some run, hidden run. talent. Ready? Go. This kid Casey, I was throwing with him. I was noticing like he was putting a little zip on it and he had some velocity to it and he had a spiral. And uh, I said, I think this guy can, can really throw the ball. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! Never threw the ball before in his life and he, and he could throw it better than me. That just goes to show you oh. that, you know, it's talent everywhere. It's just the right exposure. Get to Nigeria now. I know we got oil, gold, <laughs> other natural resources, but I think the children in Nigeria got some for the NFL. Now here we're looking at uh, really almost half of a lot of the medical supplies we, we brought in. Our medical team is like a team of, of 12 coming from Oklahoma. We just kind of thrown the idea around of the whole medical component, how it would really work. You can ask for a, a better group of 12 people who really have just come here and, and all day serving. Are you going to be a doctor? Huh? I like 
With doctors who have seen 71, uh, 98 patients in, in one day, they were just drenched, covered in sweat, exhausted, but still like, we're going to see one more patient, we're going to see one more patient. Teaching the X's and O's of football was fun, but more important to the players was the chance to give others a real education. We always have our scholarship fund where we want to award scholarships to people who are well deserving of it. So it's giving them scholarship to go into college and 10 universities in, in Nigeria. Despite your background, where you come from, uh, when we come together, there's nothing that we can't achieve. And uh, this scholarship is the beginning of that. Never give up. Always believe in yourself, because you guys are the future. Everyone's talking about Obama and America, but I hope you look at that story and realize that anything is possible. After four days in Abuja, the players moved on to Lagos, the most populated city in Nigeria. I'm ready for more. Two more days. We're in Lagos. I'm ready for more. So the times what we just did. <laughs> yes. Times four. You bet. It, it go hard. This is gonna be your two days. Yes. <laughs> The surroundings at the camp in Lagos are drastically different than the previous camp. However, to the players, it kind of feels like home. It's like playing in New York City growing up. It's like playing in Soldier Field. This, yeah, you know what? <laughs> this is like playing in Soldier Field. Right now, we are at King's College. This was actually a school that I wanted to go to. Fortunately, I didn't have the money to pay for it. And look at what you're paying for. Look at that building, that should be in New York. And then this one next to it, like, look, church building. That's a beautiful building. When you look right there, that's... Okay, let's go! Good job, he throw like Drew Brees. Tom Brady. They were just out there having fun. I think most of all, they just like to see people come and just show them that there is hope. Throw like, uh... Rex Gross showing that there is more outside these walls. This is a, some defensive end. Oh, I told you. <laughs> they obviously see the success in it, and that's what we just want to preach to them, like it's another route. Here are my brothers, and they're playing American football, so if they can do it, then I can do it. That's it. However, Akoya and Agunlie made it a point to visit one of their favorite places. This is organized confusion. This is the way of the people, the way of the land, the way of our country. I know it looks like it's chaotic, but there's a method behind the madness, and this is just how they live. So I know for us, we're thinking like, this is crazy, this is everyday life for them, it's normal. Walking through the market brought back many memories. It's what we call Mama Poots. When you're hungry, you go there, they can give you two spoons of rice, two spoons of beans, stew, meat. It's an equivalent to fast food. <laughs> For Adewale Agunlie, Israel Adonije, Amobi Akoye, and Tommy Harris, football has paved a path that allows them to give back, not only in the United States, but all over the world. Yes, we've worked hard. There's a lot of people who would love to play in the league. There's only a chosen few. I'm totally blessed to be a part of the National Football League, and it's because of that and my hard work that I'm able to put this together. Having a teammate is very important. And just as well as we build bonds on the football field, I think this helps us also to connect and get closer. When you meet a person more than just a jersey number, but you actually see what's behind it. Many people want people's glory, but they don't want their story. And I've seen a lot of these guys' story this week, and I think of them even more. This is what dreams are made of right here, fellas. This is what dreams are made of. Come, come along with the journey today. <laughs>